I'd like to share with you a few killer subject lines and the first one is putting a question mark at the end of the email because people read it and think yeah I can answer that and that makes them want to open it um, so can I can I count on your support um, and then maybe put first name or first name can I count on your support question mark and it gets people to open it up the second kind of thing to talk about is using odd numbers and it makes it more believable makes it more credible so 138,810 dollars and 21 cents without Google so if you'd simply said 130,000 dollars or 100,000 dollars without Google it would have wouldn't have sounded as good it wouldn't have sounded as believable question marks sorry quotation marks if you actually put quotation marks around your subject so I'm giving you my internet business and quotes at the beginning and end and that really um, gets people's attention and this one I wasn't actually giving away my internet business it was a an affiliate promotion where what I'd included in the email was actually talking about the the um, person Justin Blake that was giving away his internet business and therefore I could legitimately put it within quotes or you might find other things that you can put inside quotes and it just makes it a little bit different to standard subject lines that you see everywhere the next type is putting something new or video um, in square brackets um, so you got new one man one campaign one week equals six thousand sixteen dollars and thirty four cents in brackets shocking so it kind of you know shows to someone that yeah this is something new or there's a video and sort of sets the scene as to what the subject line is about re um, so re you received a new sale people come across these and think oh I must have sent something um, and somebody's replying back to me I'll just open it to see what they've said or you could do forward um, if you look at one of the videos I've included in the uh, the $98,000 in 28 hours um, s series of videos there's um, where I talk about doing a, a forward and making it look as though you've sent a personal email to someone but it's um, actually just sent from your um, list accounts such as Aweber or free video people like you know to receive videos or you could put free report um, total internet rookie banks three thousand two hundred thirty eight dollars and then free video in brackets and it grabs people's attention they want to open it up and see what it's all about here's a few more killer subject lines and the first group I've grouped together as ones that create curiosity or confusion or surprise so here's one that um, Michael Cheney did for um, promoting one of my coaching programs and absolutely loved it. Um, you put your new life enclosed um, or you could say your new life attached and basically he was talking about you know that if you come on board with Chris's coaching program you're gonna have such a turnaround in your fortunes that you can have a, a new life but it, um, you know if you put something odd and quirky like something's enclosed or something's attached um, it kind of grabs people's attention here's another one important from my lawyer this one was used by Frank Kern and um, he was talking about the new FTC regulations and it certainly gets people opening them up to see what they're about even I'm shocked and I might say even I'm shocked first name dot 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 and again people think well what's all that about you know let me open up the email and and see for myself the second group I've um, grouped in terms of ones that are gonna likely to get a reaction or a response or some kind of feedback so bad news or don't take it personally but or I disagree um, now I want to share with you a brilliant resource for hunting down other killer subject lines and you know the probably the the first most obvious way is that you just sign up to be on lots and lots of other marketers emails maybe using a secondary email account rather than your primary one just so that you don't get your inbox crammed full with all these uh, 
email promotions, but you still want to be receiving them and reading them just to see what other people are doing and also to save a massive swipe file of other people's subject lines, which you can adapt for yourself. But here's another resource where you can look for them, and especially if you're doing some niche marketing. If you go to dig.com, that's D-I-G-G.com, um, Dig works on the fact it's showing popular posts that uh, people have ranked and rated and they give them a number of digs. So this one's got you know, 2,197 digs. This one's got 254. So if we look, um, we, we can see that the, the good ones rise to the top and that the poor ones fall to the bottom. It's all about people power and what makes people read a particular um, post which is quite often you know a, an introduction to a blog post or um, some kind of uh, special message that people w want to read about it's the headline it's the, the the headline which is you know equates to the subject line so we've got you know um, have a look through all about Google um, sorry for your loss anything that kind of grabs your attention um, have a look here in the most recent seven days my roommate didn't notice for 10 minutes thank you dig or I'm sorry if we go and have a look last 30 days At first I was like dot 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 totally worth it anything that grabs your attention just gonna have a look on the the, the best ones of the, the last year so of course we've got Michael Jackson dies who on dig hates this now this one you could uh, adapt for your own market so who in whatever your market is hates this question mark remember um, so it's a brilliant resource and you can just go through and the, the ones that are rising to the top so you know ones are getting these 10,000 digs and um, in o over a course of a year or have a look in the, the most recent 24 hours or you can search in particular categories um, got a number of different categories you can search down for ones that are relevant to your niche and because people are voting for them it's because they're liking what's actually in the subject so what what's actually they're liking what's in the in the the body of the uh, of the post but in order for them to have read the body of that post they must have first read the subject um, headline and therefore you know it's a great resource that you can just look through and get some ideas for yourself for your own headlines so highly recommend you you do that